so what happened at SVB was they had their available for sale securities. And they announced that they were selling those down uh, roughly in that case, uh, 10%. There are three categories of assets, simplifying. There are loans, there are, uh, and then there are two types of securities. There's held to maturity securities and available for sale securities. Available for sale securities mean, hey, I'm planning to roughly uh, sell this whenever I feel like it at some point um, in the short term. And those assets need to be marked to market um, always, every quarter. Held to maturity securities, on the other hand, you're planning to hold to maturity. And therefore, unless you have a plan to sell them before maturity, you can mark them at cost. Um, but then um, the uh, accounting standards require you in a footnote to um, generally your 10K and, and sometimes your 10Q disclose the unrealized losses on that book um, to people. That became um, the math at one point. But um, so what happened at SVB was they actually hadn't all that happened was they had their available for sale securities. And they announced that they were selling those down uh, roughly in that case, uh, 10%. Um, and then what that meant was people started saying um, from a, so two different things happened that were very interesting actually. So everybody kind of knew the math at SVB that there was uh, modestly negative uh, on paper equity, but still earnings power as the pace of the roll off of, um, of, of loans would, would take a long time. So there wasn't, it wasn't necessarily like a huge concern. There was actually positive earnings, even though there was a modestly negative equity. And the company announced that they were selling their available for sale securities at a 9% loss, which wouldn't have surprised anybody if they were doing the math. And in fact, like crucially, the analysts uh, covering SVB that night, um, I remember seeing a report in, uh, of, of a sell side analyst, multiple, that said, Basically, hey, there's not that much new in this SVB report. No big deal. You know, SVB continues to report a challenging environment, blah, 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 like nothing new in this report. And then what happened um, basically at following the call, and they announced they were doing a capital raise as part of that. But again, the anal analyst community kind of said, you know, not, nothing that big a deal. <clears throat> what happened was um, all of the depositors, which are generally Silicon Valley um, startups um, and the VCs that are you know prominent on Twitter, started just talking about how how um, that issue of negative equity just sort of um, arose, just came to the public consciousness in a very visible way. And as P as that awareness uh, evolved, people started posting about it on Twitter, and um, and and and. Uh, the fact of a bank run is just that it can be no big deal. Like the same fact pattern can be meaningless if nobody pulls their money and very meaningful if they do. And that's just literally what happened. So they got $42 billion of requests to do, withdraw money at Silicon Valley Bank in one night. And they were able to meet $16 billion, And the remaining, they just weren't able to. So they were taken into receivership basically.